EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present final round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. What a great shot. Wow, Frank, look at that one run out. Just blistered that tee shot. Yeah, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Oh, I thought he had that. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it is going to hurt the course. Solid par. Frank, another really rugged hole. This is the par 3 11th here at Wolf Creek. Rich, remember that book, uh, Dead Solid Perfect? This is what this hole's all about, because you must hit that tee shot solid. You've got to carry all the trouble in front of you. And remind yourself, too, there's enough green grass down there. Not necessarily green, but green grass around there. A good shot safely on the putting service here. And, and this green's not too severe. But uh, this is a fun par 3 just to look at, or even at least experience. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Getting set now over the putt. Just didn't read that one quite right. Just a couple of feet. Continues to roll it very well all day long. Frank, the par 5 12th is another case of a hole where you see that Wolf Creek Golf Club can actually be kind of scary, daunting. But you look out at the, the desert mountains and then you add in some water, which we have here on the left, and you can go for some big numbers here if you're not careful. Well, this is where the wolf and the creek can take a bite out of you. You hit it left off the tee, then you're certainly going to start to rack up a number. There's enough fairway down the right, but once again, if you hit a good drive and this hole is reachable for you, then you've got to worry about the water, which is to the right of this green. Um, five wouldn't be the worst score you could make around here, that's for sure. I've seen sixes and sevens. Oh, I can't hide the flag stick from that man. He's made it. From a par three to a par five. Here at the 12th, it measures 560 yards. A sweeping dog leg left, and there is some trouble down that left side. Yeah, this is a scary tee shot. There's no two ways about it, Rich. Um, you've got to get the ball in play because you, you can really rack up a good score here. That water very much in play. Doesn't matter what club you decide to hit off the tee. 560 yards actually is reachable, believe it or not. But uh, you, you've got to get it on the fairway. You don't really have to be too brave and try and take too much over there. The other thing, too, to consider about is, is this green is nearly half the length of an NFL football field. It's 55 yards from the front of this green to the back of the green. Pretty good stroke right there, just to hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Par here's fine, isn't it, Frank?
14th hole here at Wolf Creek. Time to pull out the driver and as well the foam because you want to take some pictures here. Yes. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers. Three really in play with the tee shot, as you can see. The other three just up by the green. Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred, unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. Um, green should be fairly receptive, and three distinct portions, which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek. That's sort of uh, three different tier levels and that. But let's see, birdies that'll be made at Wolf Creek, maybe even one here. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. That will be a great look at birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. In for par. Now to the short par three, 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank, just a wedge or a nine iron? That's all, Rich, but it's very tempting to get greedy here. And, uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the miss the, the green on the left down on those bunkers because they're, well, a good six, seven feet below the level of the green. But uh, with a wedge or a nine iron, who doesn't go aiming at the flag? I'm reminded of what an old caddy used to say about the great Lanny Watkins when he was on fire. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. Literally no error in that putting strike. Good putt. Now to the 16th hole as we get set for the finishing stretch. And Frank, what's the best way to play this relatively short par four? Somehow you've got to straighten the hole up in your mind's eye, Rich. Just look all the way across that canyon and look like the hole was built straight because really that's the way it uh, should be played. If you start looking left and turning it into a dog leg, then all of a sudden bad things can happen. So look straight at the green. That's your line. Just try and bisect those two fairway bunkers. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Plays the face open. He'll try to pop this one out. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Trying to make yet another birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Now to the 17th, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. Yeah, dog leg left. Tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still going to be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's going to leave a lengthy second shot, and you've got to get the distance right on the button. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. This is a good-looking shot. Couldn't have done much better than that. The eagle is very possible. And getting ready for the puck. And it is down for an eagle. Now the closing hold here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive it across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot, 240, 250 yard mark. And of course, you do the math, you're only going to have 60 or 70 yards in. And uh, 
Well, they want you to finish on a good note. So good drive in the fairway here or three wood. Pitch it on the green, make a three, and buy your friends a drink in the clubhouse. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. This to win the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. What a great tournament finish. This one is in the books, and look who finished on top of the leaderboard. Rich, this has to go down as a classic. Our champion was simply...